Well, these two have been friends for a long, long time, and we got some thoughts of the friendship of Kemble and Simmons. That relationship may be strong, and we'll find out how strong a relationship. So you put the friendships aside. It's like when magic goes up against Isaiah. <laughs> They're friends until you tip it up. Well, what you have here is something that's to be interesting in the fact that great D by Bo Kimball. Kimball again. Uses that stutter step beautifully to set up the defender. So it's 4 nothing. Put Simmons on the board, 4-2. Not a bad move, though, by Bo Kimball. Try to go for the steal and the wraparound. Not good, solid defense in one respect, but why exert the energy try to stop his power move to the basket? There's that range, 7-2. Bo Kimball over Lionel Simmons. A lot of power there. Well, you're not kidding. A lot of power. And there's where Lionel Simmons is so good and was at LaSalle when he scored over those 3,000 points. Just at about 3 o'clock this afternoon. They were putting in two, three hours apiece. So Johnny, I go back to the days when the NBA used to have the one-on-one -on -one contest. And remember two big men that did real well in that, Bob Lanier and Robert McAdoo. Both guys that had the ability to step out. Now, that was before the three-point play, as I can remember it. But they still had the ability to go out as well as post up. Both of these, both of these fellas can likewise. Lionel relying early on and too much of those threes. And see what happens? You shoot the threes, you miss it, and then you can't get all the way over there to guard him defensively. You give up a three. Uncontested three. So Kimball is holding a lead 12 to 6 now over Lionel Simmons. Another long three, way beyond the three point line in the NBA. And Simmons comes right back and counters with another one. 15 to 9. 15 to 9 with 4.43 remaining. The officiating has been very consistent throughout the year. You know, as a sophomore, only shot eight times from the three point line and made two of them. So, 28 all, both trying to extend him out defensively. Here's Kemble working going nice baseline. Move. Nice, nice move. Move. left hand. Whoa! We talked about junk at the top of the show. You saw it. Not a good move by Lionel, but he gets the rebound. Big break. Two point break. game. Simmons working inside on Kemble. In the lane, fade away. No, good. Oh, good. Some touch. More a scorer than shooter. So he must almost score something. He must get something on the board. Atlantic City Convention Center. The fans here loving this one. Left hand Left again. Left hand again and a foul. 19 seconds left and we're tied at 30. Now, if you're Lionel, assuming he makes these two, I think you've got to go for the tie and try to get the, just as if you're holding it for that last shot. You don't want Bo to have that ball in his possession with a chance to beat you. Kemble's numbers at the line, 6 of 8 in this game, 13 of 16 in the one-on-one -on -one tournament. Taking a break, backing off that line, the officials giving him a chance. He's got one must shoot it on the two-shot foul situation. Johnny Holiday with Billy Packard, Atlantic City. Got it. And Bo Kemble with a two-point lead with 19 seconds to play. So you go for the two, Billy, not yeah. the three. If I'm Lionel, I go for the two here. I don't try to win on this one. He takes the three. Not a good move. Now Bo can hold it for the rest of the game, and he does not have to shoot. Intentional foul is two. Now Bo does not have to shoot. He can take the ball out of bounds again. Bo! And gets a new 20 seconds. That shot was just out of Simmons' range, well, way out of range. Well, I don't, I don't think Bo realizes what he can do here. He can take the ball out of bounds with a new 20 seconds, and the game's over. Why go to the line? He's shooting one and one. If he misses, Lionel can score. Bo puts an exclamation mark on this. 33-30, Campbell by three, and this might just about do it. An intentional foul is called just like the NCAA is in the fact that you go ahead and get two and the ball out of bounds. So that's not an alternative for Lionel Simmons. Simmons with a three and Kemble loses a shoe and Simmons gets it back from the corner, but that's it. Ball game over, 34-30. So both Kemble advances to the final. And Kemble will face Gary Payton for $100,000. One of the two will come away with 50,000. Four-point win.
And another good one-on-one -on -one competition. And coming up now, the championship of this one-on-one -on -one collegiate challenge between Gary Payton of Oregon State and Bo Kemble will step in there. Including Lionel Simmons, who was the fellow favored to win this. Boy, a couple of outstanding scorers. Kemble with a 54-point game against Dave Goes. Opens up with a three. How about against Southern Cal? This is for all the marbles. $100,000. For the last time these two players went against each other, it wasn't one-on-one, -on -one, but it was a situation with Ola Marymount against or Oregon State. Kimball had 21 field goals that he made in that game, both in, both in practice and watching him here in competition. He can't let Bo have that one. Well, it's an eight-nothing lead, Bo Kimball. Bo will make it like target practice, and that's why I thought he was the most flexible and versatile of all the players in this. Power five, he's got the great range to make you come out and play an outside. He'd like to drive now with a yeah. lead, go for two. But Payton. instead he fires well, a three. Peyton's giving him the outside shot. Now you, you know, you can't embarrass Bo Kimball. Earlier this year, did well in the NBA. All big men, so this is the well, well, leading guard I see you go ahead. Those voices you hear, Billy, the officials are Mike tonight. And you can hear Jody say, you guys going to play in the NBA? You better get used to this. <laughs> so that's the shot I really like that Peyton takes, too, that little pull-up jumper. Ball oh, again with the duck in here. He, take it. he should take the ball out of bounds and try to go for three-point plays. It's of no value to go ahead to the line. None of the players have taken advantage of that in the tournament, however. Himself, there's no teammate. Easy, easy. Oh, trying to use easy. up the block here. Easy. Down to 118. Allowing the NBA hand check. Oh, nice experience. A lot of fun for everybody. Well, Bo said that he came here to win this thing. He was really had a sole purpose in mind. Very well focused. So Peyton inside. Now Bo does not have to shoot this ball. Peyton, no sense, fouled him. Bo going to carry it out. Look at this. He's going for blood. Oh, what a block. A heck of a block by Gary Peyton. So with 12 seconds to play, and he misfired. I think Bo just wanted to take it to him here. He knows the game's won, but he wanted to keep on scoring. Bo Campbell will 